today's math mystery episode, you'll hear Mr. Donovan's testimony in the courtroom. He'll tell the judge exactly what happened on that Wednesday, April 19th. Please listen carefully to his testimony and try to help the judge find three mistakes in his story. Two mistakes are purely math, and the third one is based on science. In this episode, math concept will include telling time, addition, division, and even the scientific fact that light is moving faster than sound. Students will become detectives who watch, listen, and collect information so they can find the mistakes. The best way to present this video in class is to play the episode first, pause the video at the end of the court scene, and ask your students to come up with the three mistakes they found in the segment. Then play the video again to reveal the answers and the explanations. The all agents will enjoy watching this video. However, the math concepts are appropriate for second to sixth grades. Here are two terrific class activities for you to use after watching the video. Ask your students to write a short story that will include at least one math mistake. The mistakes can be based on everyday math like measurements, size, distance, age, height, weight, calendar, time. When they're done writing, ask them to present their stories in front of the class and let the students find the math mistakes. Another fun activity for your students, the clock relay. This is a simple and exciting game to help students tell time with an analog clock. Divide your class into groups of three to five students. Each group will have one hula hoop, post-it notes, sellotape, a marker, and wristbands in two different colors. First, each group will build their clock with the hula hoop and 12 post-it notes representing the hours uh, from 1 to 12. The sellotape will secure the post-it notes to the hula hoop. Every student will put one color wristband on their right hand representing the hour and a different color wristband on their left hand representing the minutes. The colors of the wristband are your choice. Now it's time to play the clock relay. Ask the first student in each team to come forward with the hula hoop and face their team. Then announce a time and the student holding the hoop will have to put both hands in the correct places to show the time. The first one who gets it right will get one point for their team. The first team who scored 10 points will win the game. For the young students, start with full hours. Then you can continue with half hours and quarter hours. When students get the time correctly, you can add another level to get them all excited. The hand that shows the hour should be placed correctly according to the time. For instance, if the time is 1.30, the hand that shows the hour should be between 1 and 2. For extra credit, in many places around the world, people do not use AM or PM when telling time. Instead, they use the full 24-hour scale. So. When the time is 15 o'clock, is actually 3 p.m. To calculate that, you have to subtract 12 from the time. I hope your student enjoyed the video and the activities that followed. Please let me know how it worked in your class, your student's reaction, and the level of difficulty. 
Feel free to send some comments and suggestions for future videos and topics to be covered. And thank you for watching.